Welcome to our video in Microsoft Word and Word Processes, and we're going to be dealing with tabs and how we can adjust tabs or create tabs to make the layout of our text a lot simpler. So before we continue, let's talk about the different types of tabs that you get, and then we can learn how we can apply it to a document. So first things first, let's talk about the left tab. The left tab, now it's got a little icon on the ruler, and it'll look something like this. It looks like an L, but it's actually, you can see it's, uh, it's the, the line that's going up is on the left hand side. And when you have text that's aligned to the left, you'll see that all the text on the left side is one underneath each other. It's almost like you can draw a line next to it. Then you know that that is a left tab. Okay. So that's the one tab that you've got. The other type of tab you can get is a center tab, which is very similar to the left. It's the same concept so it looks something like that like an upside down t if you see that symbol on the ruler you'll know that is a center tab and if you've got text that is uh, there's a center tab you'll notice that it's there's no, it's not aligned on the left it's not aligned on the right it's almost like it's centered it's almost like it's all in the middle so there we go you can see it's all the text is nicely in the middle evenly spaced from on either side then you know that that is a center tab Okay, that's great. Now, what about the right tab? It's the opposite of the left tab. It's a very similar concept. The It's the reversed view of the, t the tab. It's like the L but backwards. Then you know that is a right tab. And if you've got text that is aligned to that particular tab, you'll notice that everything on the right-hand side is all in alignment according to that tab. So there we go. So you can always draw a line on the right-hand side. Then you know that's a right tab. Now, the other two tabs are quite special that we're going to learn, and that is the first one is the decimal tab, and it looks something like that. It looks like the center tab, but there's a little dot in it. Now, what does that dot mean? Well, that means decimal numbers are aligned. In other words, the dot of the decimal number are all underneath each other. So if we take that text, you'll notice that there is a line basically where the dots are for the decimal numbers. It's almost like everything on the left-hand side of the dots is the same position as on the right-hand side. So the dots are all underneath each other. Now you'll notice that the top value, the, the, the actual heading, does not have a decimal value in. So it just aligns us up, up until that dot. So just be aware of that when you've got a heading if you want it to look like that. And then the last one is a bar tab. And it looks something like that, like a little line that's at the bottom. And it basically creates a line in your, your, your text. So if we have, for example, like we've got a little text like that, that block there, which shows you that line, that's actually what a bar tab looks like. It's just going to create a little line in the middle of nowhere. So you can use that as like a column divider or something like that. So that's going to be your tab. So let's go try it out on a Word document. So here I've got a Word document. I've got this little image over here. So this is what I want this text to look like. I want it to look something like that. So let's review it quickly. First of all, we can see that the first bit of data, you see it's all aligned. There's nothing, it's all aligned on the left hand side. So there's like a left tab there. That's definitely a left tab. And then on this one, you can see everything's in the center. So everything's in the center. So that's going to be a center tab. And then on this side, there you can see everything's underneath the decimal value. So that's obviously a decimal tab there. Now those little lines there, that is a leader. So when you have a leader, um, or like a little thing like that, so if you want little lines, little dashes, you want to be able to lead the person from that particular point to that point. If you want like a leader, you apply it to the tab on the right-hand side. So we're going to apply a leader to our decimal tab okay so that when we move from there to there it creates those dots and then over here somewhere we're going to have some sort of dash line that looks like our bar tab there we go and then our last little bit of data is all aligned on the right hand side so therefore this is a right tab okay so that's what we want it to look like now first things first you need to have your ruler visible um, I would suggest that you do that. You can go click on view and you can go click on the ruler tab to go view the ruler if it's not there so that you can see the numbers there, mine are in centimeters. So if you want to apply the tabs, there are lots of ways of doing it. First of all, select the text that you want to apply the tabs to. I want it to apply to all of them. If I don't do that, then it's only going to apply my tabs to the line that is currently active. But I want to apply the tab to all of those particular ones and then over there you can see there's my tab if i move my mouse over it it says hey we on left tab duty if i click anywhere on the ruler it will then go and give a 
left tab at that particular point and then you can drag that to wherever you want it to be on this on the page okay so you can do something like that now that's what you can do and then you if you want to get the other types of tabs you can just keep clicking on this you can go hey there we go that's a center tab no i don't want that i want a right tab or i want a decimal tab or i want a bar tab so you've got all these different options and you got the little indents and that but if you can just keep scrolling through and then go oh, i want the decimal tab and you can click somewhere on your ruler i want the decimal tab there now if you made a mistake you can also just drag it completely off to get rid of it or you can double click on a tab and it will take you to the options for the tabs and you can go and clear all the tabs for that particular thing and we can set them manually over here and that's the best way that i find you do you do to set your tabs so we're going to do that so okay so i want this tab to be a left tab and i want it to be somewhere over there okay so i'm going to clear all the tabs just get clear so I, I want it to be round about let's make it one centimeter so i'm going to type in a one centimeter tab there i want it to be left and i'm going to click on set and so now we're going to have a left tab at the one centimeter mark then somewhere over here maybe 4.5 we're going to have our center tab so i'm going to go here and change this number to a 1.4 and we're going to make it a center tab and then i'm going to set it okay now if i wanted to change that if i wanted to change it back to a four then i can click on it and change that particular one to a four click it to a four and set that one and now it sets the extra one and then i can delete that particular one if i want to do that so that's how you can get rid of them if you want if you made a mistake so there we go there's still the center tab that's great then i want this to be a decimal tab and we have it at about four so let's say round about 8.5 8.5 i'm top 8.5 we're going to have a decimal tab but we want these dots to go towards the decimal tab which means we need a leader we don't want none we can either have dots we can have dashes or we can have lines so i want the dots you can see the dots over there that's how you set the leader whatever's to the whenever you set in the tab what if the leader is leading up to that tab it's going from the left to that tab that's when you want to set that particular leader so we are setting this on the decimal tab at 8.5 set it boom now it's there on the list then we want a bar tab if we're at 8.5 and then maybe at about 11 we're going to have this bar tab over here so we're going to type in an 11 and we want that to be a bar tab and we're going to set that and then this text is going to be lined somewhere over here let's make it 15 yeah let's make it 15 15 and that's going to be all lined on the right hand side so i click on the right and we're going to set it there we go so there's my five tabs i've got a one centimeter tab that's left i've got a four centimeter tab that's centered i've got an 8.5 centimeter decimal tab that it has a leader and i've got an 11 centimeter tab which is some sort of uh, bar tab and then the right tab at 15. now i'm going to go okay and it will apply it to all of them now how do i move stuff around well now we're gonna because it applies if i click on any of these lines you'll see that my tabs have all been set for me and i can select all of the text and adjust them if i need to so we can adjust that bar for example to wherever we want it to be we can do that type of thing so i'm going to say team and then i'm going to just go back and press tab to move it up a bit and then i'm going to move this back and press tab again no i don't want the leader to go there the leader must go there there we go and then just bring it back there and then i'm going to press this one to go there okay and so let's move that back a bit there we go there it's nice line just by arranging the tabs you get the idea it's not exactly line like that but you get the idea so now i'm going to press for red keep red there I'm actually going to move that up there. There we go. So press tab to move up red. James will move up a bit. But it doesn't move up a lot because it's got all this text. I'm going to press tab again. Ah, there we go. Do you see how it makes the dots and it makes a nice little leader? And then I'm going to press tab to go to the bot. There we go. There, it's nice and light. Press tab. Tab, tab. Oh, I pressed too many tabs. There, tab. That's tab there. And then that's a tab and you can start to see it take the effect that i want to create 
Now, sometimes when you press a tab, nothing happens because all this text is too big. So you just keep doing what you're doing, just doing one tab at a time, and it will align appropriately. You see, it's hardly ever moved there. There we go. That was actually come back. So you can press backspace if you want. So I can press oh, blue. There we go. Not blue, not quad. So blue, followed by a tab, followed by the 200 tab followed by the tennis quad tab there we go so you get the idea we're creating that type of effect now we probably want a bigger gap between those so you could do something where you select everything and we can go and adjust the center tab hey eh? move that up a bit maybe we want it there and the decimal tab maybe i want it to be more along there and that tab i want to move more along there so you can adjust it accordingly for those particular ones now just last little tip when i have no tabs how do i get to the tabs Another way is to click on the paragraph, that little option there, and then you can see there's tabs over there. You can click over there and you can see all the tabs that are available. I've got nothing selected, so if I selected all that text and then went to paragraph and then went to tabs, you'll see there are the tabs that I created. And you can clear them all or clear one particular one if you want to undo anything. So there we go. So that's how you do tabs. For other videos on Microsoft Word as well as other Microsoft products, go to our YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button, look at the playlist and there you'll see all the options available to you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.